So we've set up our equation for our uh, go-kart problem to maximize our profit by hand, but now let's use our calculator to actually do uh, the calculations for us and take a look at what this graph looks like. So the equation we set up, I'm in y equals, the equation we set up was 35 minus 1x. That was a $35 initial cost, but then we're going to decrease it by $1 uh, different, a set number of times. That's what the x stands for. And then for my attendance parentheses, we said, well, there's 380 people that show up right now. But then every time I change that price, lower it by a dollar, I get 20 more people. So we're going to say plus 20 uh, times x, because 20 more people show up each time I reduce the price. So there's going to be my equation, uh, my parabola that's going to model the amount of money that I make. Now, if I were to graph right now, I probably wouldn't see much because this uh, window, uh, a 10 by 10 window, is not going to be very good. So let's go into our window and make some uh, changes to my domain range in this problem. X stood for the number of times I reduced the price. So I could choose at a minimum to reduce the price not none at all and keep it just the same. So my X min would be zero. Uh, for my X max, I would want to think, well, what's the most number of times I could lower the price? Well, since I'm lowering it by a buck from $35, the most number of times I could lower the price was 35 times. After that, um, if I tried to lower it more, I would have a negative amount of money I'm charging, which would probably be really bad for business. Um, I'll leave my Y scale the same, or my X scale the same. Uh, for my Y min and Y max, that's uh, my revenue. So my minimum revenue could be $0. If I charge, uh, if I charge $0, I'm going to make $0 total. So again, that would be bad for business, but I could use that. Uh, for my Y max, I really don't have any idea, but here's the trick that I do. Um, right now, I charge $35. And right now, I get 380 people. So what I'm going to type in for YMAX is the, what I'm, my revenue right now. It's $35 times 380 people. Right now, I make a total of $13,300. So I want to maximize my money. So I want to make a little bit more than that. So I'm going to uh, make that number a little bit higher. Maybe I'm going to try 15000 uh, my goal is when I graph this, I want to be able to see the vertex, the maximum point of my parabola. So if I don't see that or if it's hard to see, I can change that Y max number as needed. So let's try 15,000 and see if that's good enough. So let's hit graph and I should see this parabola. So actually it looks perfect. It's almost like I planned it that way. Uh, I can see that it hits right here at zero. We said after $35 reductions, I wouldn't be charging anything, but I can see the maximum that I want to see. I can see that vertex. If I couldn't see that, I'd want to go back and make my uh, Y max a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and actually calculate that maximum value. So to do that, again, hit second and trace to go into your calculate menu. You won't see vertex, but you will see min or max. So this time, because we're trying to maximize something, since we have an upside down parabola, an opening downwards parabola, uh, select maximum this time. Okay. Uh, and they'll ask you three questions. They'll say left bound, right bound, and guess. So take your cursor and move that to the left of the vertex. Remember, don't try to get too close or you might miss it. So, like, I wouldn't want to go there because I, I can't really tell. Uh, but if I go over here, I can tell I'm clearly to the left of the vertex. So hit enter. Then they'll say move to the right. So move your cursor again somewhere to the right of the vertex. Over here should be fine. Uh, and press enter. And for guess, you can just press enter. You don't really need to guess very well. Uh, and your maximum value should pop up. Now, remember, we talked about what to do if you see all the nines or all the zeros. Uh, round appropriately. So this vertex must be 8 comma 14, 580. So let's go ahead and go back to our problem and actually interpret what those numbers mean uh, in this particular example.